Well, alright guys, what's going on? This is not my original video intro for this video, but I wanted to start this over because I forgot to mention, as of April 10th, FCX is starting their spring sale, and all their FCX 24s are 30% off. So, right now you can get this rig for $119.99 instead of $149. So I just thought I'd go ahead and let you guys know that it's a great time to go over to the FMS site. The link is in the description. You click on that link, it helps the channel. There's been a couple of you guys, actually a few of you have already helped out the channel and I really appreciate you guys. So again, all of their FCX24 and some of their other rigs are even 33% off. I think the Hummer I seen was 33% off. The 1 12th scale. That's actually a rig I want to get soon. So anyway guys. I just wanted to throw that in there. You can't beat that deal. I mean 30% off. 120 bucks for one of these bad boys is sweet. And I've already done the oil to the shocks. Look at this. No more of that bouncing. It's sweet. This thing's not bad at all. For that price, I would jump on them. And the video we're jumping into right now is about the Atlas. A couple of you guys have bought the Atlas through my link. And since I know you guys like it, we're going to throw a 1080 in one in this video. So, back to your regularly scheduled program. Well, alright guys, I couldn't help it. We got the white tires on there, the white wheels with the flat irons. So right there is going to help that truck a lot. Then we got these knockoff Mickey Thompsons with 3D printed foams that have really woke them tires back up. They, they work good now. Both have SSD rims, something like that. Um, this has the 1080 in it. The other one will still get the 1080, but... I'm thinking about just taking the whole body off there, going through the process of putting a fusion in that one right there so we can compare them. But first I probably will do a comparison between the 1080 and stock and then the 1080 and the fusion. But for right now, speaking of 1080s and stock, I also decided that, ugh, this old power wagon here that my buddy Sean's going to be driving, I had to at least swap the tires again. I put on some tires that were probably okay, but they were no name. I'm giving everybody else good tires. I figured I'd throw something else on here for now, which we've got the awesome mud slingers. I love my mud slingers. So now we're not going out and big, doing a big test with the ESC and all that. We've already drove the truck. But I am going to take it over here, set it on my pool table, and just try to do some slow crawl, forward to reverse, stuff like that. And then we're going to put the 1080 in it real fast and do it again. Nothing fancy. Just showing you what just the 1080 by itself can do as far as control. A 1040 is not helping you much, I can tell you that much. So we're going to get that out of all these trucks. Well, Alright guys, never mind the mess. Uh, I got boxes everywhere. You can see the box on the pool table. I'm making a ramp for the little 24 scale basher. Now I just took these mud slingers off of that cross RC and put the Traxxas tires on there. That truck's actually a, a force to be reckoned with itself. That's a nice little rig. So anyway, let's just keep it simple. You know what, actually, let's try to just turn the trim up a little bit on this bad boy, if I can see it. We, oh no, that's a push button deal. I don't want to use it. I thought it was a turn dial. So let's do it by hand. Let's go. You hear that hum? Good Lord. You see that too? You get noise first before movement. That's as slow as I can go. That is its slowest. Let's go around reverse. We don't want to do no burnouts on 
I'm slower in reverse until you just barely touch it, then it's gone. Again, on the trail, that's not a big deal. But for me, let's see if we can crawl across the edge of this box, just one. We're not gonna do a long test. Now, when you're turning the throttle, you can get it to go slower. Don't want to tear up my felt or nothing like that, so. Pool table needs a new top anyway, but we don't want to ruin it. Man, she's, she is touchy. All right, one more time. That's like it, oh God. One more time for my slowest trigger. You can hear it come on first. That's absolutely as slow as I can go. How about climbing? Uh, my dog's got to go out again. I can hear it. <laughs> anyway, now we're going to throw in the 1080 real fast. So, all right, now I decided to go ahead and take the... Uh, Give me that shadow light, God. I took the body screws out of the front here, and we just unplugged the lights. It should actually just flip right off there now. Yep. Get a hold of it. Yep. Awesome. Now that's pretty pretty sweet. And then if you look, I mean, let me show you one thing here. I've noticed now the fenders right here. They have a really strong piece of uh thick plastic going on the edge if you look at the other side you'll see what i'm talking about for the mount that way the body don't just fall apart so all of this uh body hinge and system goes through those fenders and supports this leg sand body so it don't just crinkle that thing's pretty legit right there i'm not gonna kid you i wouldn't lie to you i like that that's a nice setup you put that on another rig you know, you'd have to probably come up with a different mount system or put some spacers, but, you know, right here. Because, again, now I went through here measuring the chassis on the SCX, FCX10 chassis up there on the Blazer. Because I want to find out if one of these rigs can take the two-speed transmission. Now, this particular rig with the mash again is what I'm wanting to put it on. And... It turns out, even though this is way wider here than the Blazer, um, on the Blazer, it's narrow here in the front and back, but then when it gets right here, it tapers out, and the actual belly pan right here area, the frame rails are actually wider than this rig by like a quarter inch or more. So, to actually get that two-speed transmission into a mash again, it would take a little work. You would have to use the skid plate that already comes on this truck and just find a way to screw into the new transmission instead or something. I don't know. You'd have to take the transfer case out of this and put in an actual transmission. But anyway, we're not going to get into all that right now. All we actually have to do is unplug the motor wires and pop that off. It's that dang simple. That's the only reason that we broke into this right now to show you. So, all right, now this is a very easy swap if all you're doing is the ESC. You, you, know, you really can't go wrong by changing it either. It's going to be such a good upgrade. So, again, all I do is unplug from the receiver. Now, you see this black curly stuff here? I just took my scissors and I cut it because this was all hooked together right there. And they just came back through like that. But uh, I just cut the black part with my scissors so this piece could go with the ESC and then my servo still had some on there for whatever so unplug your motor wires these motors have a really thin wire but it's thick gauge okay they look small but you can see it standing up there that's because it's really thick like you know what I mean so anyway pop this baby right off there I've already pried it the sticky stayed and we're done with that well, all right, guys, it was a nice, quick install. There's nothing to it. I mean, basically, you're just pulling out the ESC, putting another one in. There's no fancy stuff to work around, none of that. 
So, and it actually, I also, one more thing, right here where this battery is right here, I cut the notch a little bit bigger so it would at least sit a little bit flatter right there. So, and it, it, not, it locks down really good now. So let's just get it over to the table and see if it's any smoother or slower. Well, all right. I know one thing, the lights are just a little bit brighter because uh, I have it turned up to 7.4 instead of just 6 or whatever. And I can see the difference in the bulbs. <laughs> anyway, let's see how slow we can get this to go now. Oh, wow, yeah. That is nice. So much better. Wow. Not bad for just changing the ESC. Again, you know, like most of our crawlers, like our uh, Traxxas ESCs and stuff, they're not very good. But they're also, some of them are like 60 amp. Some are only 40 amp, like the one we just took out of here. But at least some of them are 60 amp. But 40 amp, you might have to throw it away. This is an 80 amp, so. Very nice. I like that. And then again, in reverse, it's not so bad either. Not the best controller to uh, try to have a delicate finger in or nothing, but for the most part, you get the point. She's so much better. Because these transmissions, I've really never seen anything like them they have some weird setup going on but this is a very cool rig i ain't gonna mess with my pull table now i'm very happy with the way it's working now I might do a servo on axle mount eventually too. Well, all right. We got two of the rigs completely ready for the event. We got the mash again and this both ready. I still have one more mash again to finish a little bit on. Possibly go brushless on that one. I don't know yet. And I'm waiting on my F FJ40 to show up because I might go brushless on it instead. I don't know. But anyway, that's where we're at so far. So, all right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. The Atlas is turning out to be a great truck. I really do enjoy this truck. And I have a lot of plans for it. I'm not really a power wagon type of guy, but I like this truck. I like it better than my Ecto. And I'm not saying it will outperform the Ecto and all that. They're both great trucks. I'm just saying that I like this one better. I think it's built better looking. Stuff like that. Anyway, before we go, I just wanted to remind you guys again one more time. FCX 24 is 30% off. I don't know how long the sale is going, but it's their spring sale started yesterday or today. So click on the link, go check out FMS's products. If you see something you like, there's liable to be a good sale on it right now. And also check this out. I realize this truck fits perfectly between the bars here. I could haul that around with a strap on it. Not bad, huh? Sorry guys. Thanks again. Please like, subscribe. Share, comment, and click on the link and go buy you something nice. Peace.